Welcome back cruisers and thank you for joining us on today's daily cruise news. We have four breaking news stories coming up for you including a cruise line rescue of a small stranded boat. Find out more later on the video as all news fed directly to you from cruisehive.com. Ariana Grande once sang a song about the part when she breaks free, and now the Queen Mary too has also decided to do the same. While stocked in Civitavecchia in Italy on August the 4th, the cruise ship Queen Mary 2 was pushed away from its pier by high winds reaching up to 36 miles an hour and snapping her bowline, causing the gangway to drop into the water. Several tugboats quickly reacted to the ship's broken lines, holding her steadily in place until new lines could be properly secured. After the ship was secure and carefully inspected, she was allowed to continue and to port for an export of coal in Valencia in Spain on August the 6th. Following a survey of over 1,700 consumers, which magazine has compiled rankings of ocean-going cruise lines based directly on passenger feedback? The results are somewhat surprising, particularly with seemingly low overall scores. A variety of traits were examined to compile the overall scores, including customer service, passenger space, onboard facilities such as public areas and things to do, stateroom quality, food and drink, port excursions, entertainment and social atmosphere. All-inclusive luxury cruise lines naturally scored highest on the survey, with Noble Caledonia Ocean Cruises coming at the top spot with an overall rating of 90%. Viking Ocean Cruises, Seabone, Oceana Cruises and many others all followed suit in the 80-87% to 87 range. Carnival Cruise Line and Disney scored 79-78% and 78 respectively, whilst the bottom of the list saw Princess Cruises and MSC score a disappointing 67-68%. and 68 If you'd like to see the full list, check out our story on our website on cruisehive.com. UK-based Ambassador Cruise Line has announced a new price hike to their drink packages starting on September the 1st, rising up by an average of 15-18%, to 18%, with the most expensive package now costing $44.95 per person per day. Guest planning a cruise, the cost has increased for all packages. For the Ambassador Experience Package, the pre-cruise price would have set you £180, but has now increased to just under £210. This means you would spend an additional £30 for the same package. Also, the Ambassador Explorer package sees an increase of almost £60, rising from £330 to £389.50. And previously, the Ambassador Expedition package has risen from £380 to an eye-watering £449.50, with an increase of nearly £70 for a 10-day cruise. After midnight on the 6th and very early morning of the 7th, Carnival Cruise Line's Mardi Gras was involved in a rescue operation involving a small stranded boat in the Caribbean. The cruise ship was requested to assist after the US Coast Guard received a distress call from the occupants of an unidentified vessel. Mardi Gras had just departed her home port in Port Canaveral and was en route to the first port of call in Aruba and immediately changed course to participate in the search and rescue of a small boat which was experiencing a medical emergency. Good work certainly by all. And that's it for me for today cruisers and goodbye. My name is Paul coming to you from my summer vacation. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Don't forget to like our channel and hit that subscribe button. And please have a look on our website for all the news covered in today's video on cruisehive.com. Have a nice day everyone and I'll see you in the next video.